Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, March 22nd, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I am a comfort warrior. And I think we are all needing a little comfort. We're building to a full moon lunar eclipse early tomorrow morning. And, you know, as we build to this full moon, the feelings all come up. And we're in Aries, so it's like we're brand new babies. <laughs> and suddenly we've gone from the place of being in the womb where all of our needs are taken care of to this big wide cold world sometimes cold where you have to cry to get attention and today we're at a two degree day building to tomorrow building into that eclipse and so our world our self our human physical body is asking for a little comfort it's asking you to acknowledge your feelings i was looking at the sabian symbols for the eclipse tomorrow and i thought today's as we built to the eclipse was so perfect. It's so simple. A comedian reveals human nature. And I think it's one of those things, you know, we as humans love to look to the world like we've got everything figured out all the time. And the fact is, there's the tears of the clown. There is the human nature and the comedian. There's always a time where the feels just become too much and we all have to express them in one way or another. And today may be that day. And so that's why today we're all <laughs> comfort warriors, feeling warriors, holding space for any feelings that are surfacing and really loving, comforting, nurturing ourselves through this. And it's so perfect because the astro, no mistakes ever. Everything's always working out perfectly. Looking at the astro, we have the moon in, in Virgo. So bringing the attention to our physical body. But the moon in Virgo is not making any real connections through most of the day. Besides early in the morning, a connection to the north node. Um, and opposite the south node, which is connected to Chiron and Ceres. So Ceres is the mother nurturing energy where we show up and we're the parent to ourselves. So this connection is like, hey... You may be seeing some old wounds surface. Wounds surface. They may be from past lives. They may be from this life. They may be ancestral. They may be from this week. It doesn't matter the timeline, but you need to step up and be the mother to integrate whatever is going on. These feelings come up for a reason. They're telling you something about yourself. There's stories for you to be able to get into, to really recognize what's going on. It's part of how your body antenna talks to you. So pay attention to what's coming up because this eclipse is, again, like most eclipses, it's finishing up a cycle. It's helping us really finish up. We've had a series of eclipses between Aries and Libra, between the I and the we, between knowing yourself and then knowing yourself as more than yourself as the we, as the world, as your relationship to the world, to others, to your cat, your very noisy cat. <laughs> um, so we've been working through many of these eclipses, and I think this is the final one in, in the series of them. So it's really important to really be present with your eye so that you can be present with the we, with with everybody. There may be some mental games going on in this. We have a connection between the Sun and Mercury tomorrow with the eclipse, so we're building into that. Don't get caught in the mental games. You don't have to analyze your feelings. Just allow yourself to feel them and comfort yourself through them. That being said, I want to talk a little bit about the eclipse tomorrow. Big time of endings. It's happening early in the morning, relatively early in the morning. The full moon happens at 5.01 a.m. tomorrow morning. The eclipse happens at 4.48 a.m. and this is Pacific time tomorrow morning. So it's an early morning eclipse um, and I love, I love the Sabian symbol for the moon. The dawn of the new day reveals everything has changed. I feel like that's part of how we need to comfort ourselves. I climbed in bed yesterday after a session with a client just to like kind of recalibrate and get back into myself and as I was laying there I was like I feel like I'm the caterpillar in the cocoon and the caterpillar to become the butterfly, it's not like it just spouts wings. It completely dissolves. The cell structure, everything changes. And I feel like we're all kind of in that place, in that cosmic, gooey place of this change. And we all feel the changes. And yet we wake up and we're like, I'm still me. Where are my wings? Are they there? <laughs> and so just pay attention. I don't know. 
give yourself space and time to be in that cosmic goop to go through these changes. And I'll get more into the eclipse energy tomorrow. But the point is, be present with your body, moon and Virgo, present with your body, present for this experience. As you integrate the lessons and the feelings, most importantly, the feelings, that's how your lessons are coming up big time right now, that are coming up for you. So, uh, the cards we pulled. Integration, as above, so below. Sometimes we beat ourselves up for having these experiences, for having these experiences that we view as less than. It's part of the whole picture. Allow the picture. Allow it to come through and paint pictures for you. This is how we rebel because we've been told, don't feel, don't get in there, don't get emotional, even by like new age energy, like stay positive. And while I'm a big advocate of being positive and being happy, I also recognize the importance of working with the things that come up to help break you through so you can get to the next level because we're always next leveling it. And finally, um, the final card, Innocence. This is the sun card. This is the card of, it doesn't matter how old you are, the innocence, the light, the joy, the connection that we all have to this world. And I love this card with this old man just staring into the eyes of this bug, <laughs> having this deep cosmic connection. We all have this connection. We're all connected. So, you know, if you're feeling a little lack of innocence or you're feeling so many feels you don't know how to deal with it, maybe you need to connect with something else that you can't even fathom, like a bug. Like watching ants run around, it's one of the craziest things. I'm totally a bug watcher. I like will sit and stare at bugs. That's a secret. <laughs> it's no longer a secret. But go get in there and connect and see the workings of the world and recognize the mystery in the mundane. So that's it for today. Book a reading if you'd like to dive further into what's going on. And I will see you tomorrow for the eclipse. Namaste.